between. And that, yeah. So I finished it like a few days ago. I mean, yeah, a few days ago. I haven't moved on to part 8 yet because I'm scared. Don't ask why I'm scared of part 8, but I'm scared of part 8. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm scared, but I am. So, but we're not talking about part 8. We're talking about part 7. Part 7, I loved it from the beginning, like, even from the first chapter, it was so good. Uh, there was, there's a few notable things about Part 7 that I like to really talk about. Um, one of them is, uh, at the beginning of Part 7, we aren't really, like, I wasn't really sure if this was JoJo. Like, it didn't feel like JoJo, but it felt like a completely different story um, about something completely different than Jojo but even though that was the case and it felt like completely different from the Jojo style I still loved it anyways and even if it had nothing to do with Jojo I think I would just go read it all the way and enjoyed it so if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm about to get into spoilers but for the first chapters you there's nothing really you wouldn't be able to tell that it was about Jojo um, except the names like Gyro Zeppeli whose real name spoiler alert his real name is Caesar Zeppeli Johnny Joestar obviously Jonathan Joestar um, so yeah I think it's really cool how Araki created a new universe but with the same principles of the main or original Jojo universe. Um, this show, I mean that show, this manga was definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. It was, it, I enjoyed it all the way through. Some of the fights weren't even fights, but the majority of it was really like enjoyable, even if you had no clue what was going on. Like when D4C is first introduced, you have no idea what's going on, especially when you get to the Who Shot Johnny arc. Like that, it's crazy. It's super cool. Um, the characters were good. Well, I say good, but I mean great. Weka Repo is a good example of a character, a minor character who wasn't in a lot of the of the whole story, but he was such a good character. And I can't really see the ball run without Weka Repo. Um, Ringo with his Stan Manda, which is insane. We thought like a minor villain would have a time manipulating Stan. But uh, yeah, Ringo, he was a good character who only showed up in a little small part of it. Who also had a big part in the story. Gyro, new, my new favorite character. Gyro, obviously. Steel Ball Run and I saw Gyro I I wasn't ex- I was like uh Gyro this guy doesn't look like he's gonna do much if he's the other universe counterpart of Caesar and Caesar like you know you know what possible what could Gyro possibly do that Caesar like hasn't done or how can Gyro be any better than Caesar and Gyro just like doubled what I expected him to be. Um, the steel balls are like they're so they're such a cool concept. So imagine it's like Hamon in part one. It was, it's a cool concept, but it didn't really fit with stands except stands like Hermit Purple, which they could be used together. But no, this one brought the power of the spin and stands to the point where they were were like Hermit Purple. They work together really well. Like Ball Breaker, even though Ball Breaker is barely in the story, it was a nice addition, even if it was only there for like a few chapters. Um, Tusk is. Oh, Tusk is. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this, but I think in my last video I was saying how Jolene's stand is a bunch of string, whereas Jotaro gets giant punchy boy that stops time. Josuke gets giant punchy boy that can fix anything. Then you have Giorno with gold experience requiem. It's crazy, all that stuff. And then Jolene had string. And it's like, that's not very impressive. 
And then Johnny came with his band to shoot fingernails. And I'm like, that's not very impressive. But Araki somehow managed me, somehow managed to get me to think shooting fingernails and spinning them around was cool. Because when you think about it, it's like, whoa, you're shooting your fingernails by spinning them? That's pretty weird. But somehow Jojo managed to make it seem super cool. And it, like a super cool ability, especially when you can create the holes in the walls that he can travel through. And like, now the infinite rotation, that thing's kind of busted. <laughs> it's, I think the infinite spin is the equivalent to gold experience requiem. Like, okay, so you, it's like an instant kill. Like the only reason Valentine lasted as long as he did is because he had D4C. But even with D4C, it would just keep going infinite. He'd die over and over, just like Diavolo. Um, and now, oh my god. And speaking of this, uh, Valentine dying over and over again. When he recruited Diego from another universe, that, that was insane. Oh my god. So, everyone loves Dio. Whether it be... Part 1 Dio, Part 3 Dio, Part 6 Dio, or even Part 7 Dio. So when they added Diego Brando with the stand Zawardo, that was insane. Like, he literally had Zawardo, the exact replica, the exact same stand as the Dio from Part 3, which, which is crazy. Like, that was so interesting that even though they're two separate universes, they still had... They still, Araki still managed to connect the two universes in so many ways. And I think adding the world as Diego's from another universe's stand, it was, that was amazing. And Diego is, oh my gosh, he's such a good character. Not really the other universe one, because he didn't really get much character development since he was pretty much only at the end. But like, the Diego Brando with scary monsters, that, oh my god. He was such a good character. Um, I the, First of all, the way he got his stand is kind of dumb, but it's also cool at the same time. He got his stand. Someone It was someone else's stand, and they used the ability on him. And so he got, and then he killed the guy who gave him the ability. So it was his now. And he turned into a dinosaur and turned things into dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, all the stands were so cool. Um, not all of them. Tomb of the Boom is kind of just, you know, it's a cool concept. Could have been done better. You know, you could make the stand user, like, you know, not some weird, I don't even know. That was a pretty, pretty interesting fight. Uh, but it was a pretty basic fight. It didn't have anything too special about it. Besides the fact that there are three stand users with the same stand. Yeah, there were other stands like that, like Tubular Bells. Like, I, it was a cool concept. Could have been executed better. Um, also, Chocolate Disco. Come on. If your favorite stand is Chocolate Disco, then I, I don't know what to say. Because that stand was kind of... <laughs> kind That stand was kind of weird. You put the thing in your arm and then you drop it and I don't even know. And then what was that other guy? I think he's Civil War. I honestly, the whole time, I did not know what was going on. I, I still, I kind of know what was going on, but I don't know what's going on. In Hot Pants, I don't get her backstory. I don't get, I like her stand. Her stand's pretty weird, though, because when she dies, it, she died. No, she doesn't. She doesn't die. What are you talking about? I did say spoilers. Um, <laughs> When she dies, uh, her stand is still there. So... I don't know, that kind of breaks the rules a little bit. Um, there was there was not really any dog dying. So that gives minus points for this part. Not many dogs. I don't think any dogs died. Mm -mm. So yeah, that's minus. And then there's Sugar Mountain. Okay, Sugar Mountain is like a great stand idea. That one, that's one of the stands that had a great concept and it was executed great. Um, Sugar Mountain, that, that was cool stand, um, I think, 
yeah, that that's it, pretty much. Oh, one more thing. Johnny is one of the weirdest JoJo's. Oh my god. So, you have Jonathan who fights Dio because he needs to stop Dio from eating all the people's souls or whatever. Then you have Joseph who's like, oh, next, your next line is, and then bam, he beats the bad guys. Jothro, he just kills anyone that makes him mad, whatever. Not like he wants to or anything. Uh, <laughs> and then you have Josuke, who like makes friends with everyone because he's such a good guy. Well, Jorno, he's kind of just slaughter, so we're gonna skip him. He is the son of Dio, so uh, we're gonna skip Jorno. Jolene, I think Jolene's a pretty selfish protagonist, but uh, she still, I think she still fights for the good. And then Johnny is just like. I can't walk. My leg is no work, so I'm gonna kill you. Like funny Valentine, he he collected the corpse parts for the good of the country, and he, like what he had his final speech, and he, Valentine he killed people, but he did it for a good cause, and he didn't he didn't like kill just innocent people. He did if he had to. Now Johnny is just a cold-blooded murderer. Johnny killed Valentine on the spot. Johnny just wanted to walk. He literally wanted to walk. Like, but that's why he did all those things that he did. Valentine could have made America like a great country. He could have probably saved the world for all we know. And then Johnny's like, nah, my legs no work, so I'm gonna go shoot you up, man. Like, what? I don't know, that kind of... <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm rooting for Johnny and all, but you didn't have to go that far. I mean, you could say his actions were justified. And I think you would be kind of right there. But I don't know. He seems like a pretty, like, you know, he's more of a villain protagonist. I'm sure there's a word for it that I'm missing out on. But he's more of a villain than a hero. In fact, I wouldn't call him a hero at all. Same with Gyro. Gyro is a great character. I, he fought for a noble cause. I think Gyro is a good person, but I wouldn't describe him as a heroic character. I think he's a noble person. And his gags are hilarious. Like If you read the, you have to read the manga to understand, because I can't really explain it, but Gyro does like all these gags and Johnny's like, Gyro, you, you're, can you be quiet? <laughs> like, I don't care, Gyro. But yeah, he, like, the pizza mozzarella song, Gyro made that. All, all those funny memes with Gyro with those weird faces. Yeah, that, that was in the manga because Gyro is dumb. But he's so good at the same time. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else that uh, I need to cover. But. Yeah, that was Steel Ball Run, my review. Um, I give it um, 7 out of 7 Steel Balls. Um, that's it. Bye.